Imagine a sad scenario that happens all too often. A child is kidnapped and witnesses have a brief description of the kidnapper and a partial license plate of the getaway car. This is definitely not going to be of much help to the police. Recently, however, neighborhood watchers in big cities have started to take matters into their own hands with a system called license plate recognition, or LPR. It is one of the fastest growing technologies in both the private and public safety security markets. The system, in essence, does not need to be monitored 24-7 and operates with minimal human intervention. So how does it work? LPR involves capturing photographic video or images of license plates, whereby they are processed by a series of algorithms that are able to provide an alphanumeric conversion of the captured license plate images into a text entry. When a target vehicle is identified, alert notifications are generated so a response team can be deployed and catch the bad guys. While the idea might seem simple, the behind the scenes complexity that goes on is quite amazing and the software is of course very sophisticated. Gary, I know security cameras are a small component of the LPR system, so there must be a large database of dodgy license plate numbers that you guys manage. We don't actually own or handle our own database, but what we do is uh, each individual neighborhood watch, they will administer and manage their own database. And running it like that, uh, they might have a local few dodgy plates that they need to administer, and it doesn't want, they, we don't want to actually share that with a single main database. In saying that, what we are busy developing at the moment is a cloud base. The cloud base will, will enable all the neighborhood watches who are running Visec in, this, in their individual systems to be able to link together if they so wish. If I'm involved in a neighborhood watch and I want to implement the system, how much will it cost? It's difficult to give an actual price. Um, we at Visec, we've actually committed ourselves to fighting crime in the, in the neighborhood watches. And not just in neighborhood watches throughout South Africa, but for neighborhood watches that really want to run the LPR systems themselves, we do offer them a 50% discount off retail. The British Police Scientific Development Branch first invented license plate recognition technology in 1976. Several decades later, the technology has greatly evolved and prior limitations incurred from vehicle speed, light fluctuation, angular skew, character segmentation and recognition have been solved with today's algorithm technology. Thank goodness for those algorithms. The question is, how successful has it actually been in fighting crime? License plate recognition has worked extremely well in Fisher. And wherever it gets used, residents will they'll get positive results. We've had many arrests and we've disrupted housebreaking syndicates and car theft syndicates using this technology. And um, criminals using cars that have been flagged just don't have the element of surprise anymore. And, and psychologically, they're on the back foot when they enter our neighborhood. What do you think is the most important factor that contributes to these successful stories? Well, it's all about community. If you can marry the use of smart technology with sustainable community involvement, you will kill crime in your area. I guess you can call it a crime-fighting revolution and we're pretty confident we're going to win. License plate recognition systems are currently being rolled out in many other suburbs across the mother city, as well as other big metropolitan areas in the country. So the next time you're driving around, say cheese!